Arrington Capital is not bothered about the ongoing Ripple lawsuit as it files for an XRP-based hedge fund with the SEC. By the way, Ripple Labs continues its monthly token unlock program with another 1 billion XRP unlocked from escrow. Finally, what's the real motive behind the SEC lawsuit against Ripple? Keep watching this video to find out more so that you don't miss out on an excellent opportunity to win a giveaway of 300 XRP tokens at the end of this month. Hey guys, welcome back to Whiteboard Crypto Update, the best spot for your daily dose of everything XRP and cryptocurrency. In today's video, we will talk about XRP's future. So be sure to stay focused as you surely don't want to miss out on this. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so if you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. Please remember this is not a financial advice video. In an exciting development, Reaper Financial CEO Patrick L. Riley revealed that Arrington Capital recently filed with the United States Securities and Exchange Commission to launch an XRP-based hedge fund. Riley made this known in a tweet over the weekend while quoting a picture of Arrington Capital's founder Michael Arrington alongside Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse. Although Riley did not share other details of Arrington Capital's recent filing with the SEC, he disclosed that there is an expectation for all to go well. Arrington Capital's move to launch an XRP-based hedge fund may come as a surprise to many. Notably, the crypto community eagerly awaits a summary judgment decision for the SEC's Ripple lawsuit. The lawsuit relates to whether Ripple and its execs violated federal laws by offering XRP as an unregistered security. While the case is ongoing, Arrington Capital has filed with the SEC to launch an XRP-based hedge fund. The move has stirred reactions from the XRP community. Some Twitter users speculate that Arrington Capital might have gotten insider information about the lawsuit. Launched in 2017, Arrington Capital is a thesis-driven firm that invests in digital assets and Web3. According to its website, Arrington XRP Capital is a multi-strategy hedge fund that specializes in startups at their early stages and public markets. For context, hedge funds pool investors' money using diverse strategies while hoping to make significant returns. Potential clients are expected to have a specific minimum income level or assets to invest in hedge funds. Typical investors of hedge funds include wealthy individuals, individual investors, and pension funds. According to a document by the SEC, hedge funds are not required to follow some regulations established to protect investors. For instance, a hedge fund manager will not be required to file public reports or register with the SEC. However, this depends on the amount of assets in the hedge fund. Notably, hedge fund managers are subject to similar KYC and ANL rules as other market players. According to Whale Alert, a crypto whale tracking service, Ripple unlocked a whopping 1 billion XRP worth $453.7 million from escrow. Per data shared by Whale Alert, Ripple unlocked the 1 billion XRP coins in five different transactions. For the first transaction, Ripple unlocked 100 million XRP. For the second and third transactions, the crypto behemoth also unlocked 400 million and 200 million from escrow, respectively. Furthermore, Ripple also released another 100 million and 200 million XRP from its escrow account for the fourth and fifth transactions, respectively. Notably, data from Bitfomp shows that the five transactions occurred on July 1, although the transaction happened on July 1. Whale Alert reported it on its Twitter handle on Sunday, July 2, 2023. The crypto whale tracking service disclosed that it had an issue with the Ripple API, which made it difficult to report the transactions immediately when they happened. It assured crypto enthusiasts that it is working to fix the issue. It is worth noting that the transactions are part of Ripple's monthly token unlock program. Ripple has been unlocking huge volumes of XRP from its escrow account since 2017. 
The transactions are conducted in a controlled manner to keep the price of XFRP stable. Notably, Ripple's monthly XRP unlock is usually reported on the first day of every new month. Despite unlocking 1 billion XRP from escrow, Ripple usually puts a sizable amount of the funds back in escrow in a day or two. This move is part of its effort to maintain the stability of XRP's price and meet its ODL demands. When writing this line, Whale Alert has not reported whether Ripple has locked back some amounts of XRP in escrow. Meanwhile, the recently unlocked 1 billion XRP did not impact the assets price much. XRP is currently changing hands at $0.48, down 0.1% in the past 24 hours. In the same vein, XRP is also down 0.5% over the past seven days, according to data from CoinGecko. Furthermore, the adoption of XRP continues to soar despite the SEC's claims in its lawsuit against Ripple that the asset is an unregistered security. As was published, the XRP ledger has been adopted by the RWA protocol to onboard the first-ever mortgage-backed stablecoin on the network. Now to the big question of the day. What's the real motive behind the SEC lawsuit against Ripple? Crypto law founder attorney John Deaton has taken to Twitter to question the real motive behind SEC's lawsuit against Ripple Labs. In a tweet yesterday, the prominent cryptocurrency advocate said Americans need to know what former SEC chair Jay Clayton discussed with Gary Gensler on December 21, 2020. According to Clayton's public calendar, the former SEC chairman officially met with Gensler twice in his last month in office. The first meeting occurred on December 14, 2020, and the second on December 21, 2020. Clayton's last official meeting with Gensler took place a day before the commission sued Ripple and two of its execs, Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Larson. On December 22, 2020, Clayton directed the Enforcement Division to file the lawsuit against Ripple. Reacting to the development, Deaton said it is unusual for the SDC to file a case of this magnitude on the day the chairman, Clayton, left the commission. Deaton described the Ripple lawsuit as the most significant non-fraud enforcement action since 1946. Well, guys, that's all we have for you today. What are your thoughts on XRP? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. If you guys like this video, then be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Also, if you don't want to miss out on any new future videos, then be sure to click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification under this video so that you're notified the next time we upload a video on the latest XRP and cryptocurrency news. Until the next video comes out, you can watch our other videos about XRP or other cryptocurrencies. Thank you for watching, and we will see you again in the next video. Goodbye.